she told me, you know, almost a running commentary that A, she had an accident, B, she didn't just fall in the driveway, it's serious. I ran out to my car, started driving, called her back, and then gave me the running commentary of we're waiting for the EMTs, EMTs are here, she's not conscious, I don't know what's going on, I think they're going to med flight her, meet this, meet me at the market basket and by the, the, the furniture store, and you know, kind of kept me in the loop, but saying when she, as soon as she said she's not conscious, then stay with me in those kind of phrases and not, uh, not terribly good to be on the other end of the phone with. Just waiting for somebody to say she is going to be all right, and she's conscious. It just kept waiting and waiting and waiting to hear that. She went up, hit the windshield. They figured that's where her head injury came from, hitting the windshield, and then flipped up over, right over the top of the thing, and on landed the behind it. She went on the hood, hit the windshield, and up and over, and landed behind. And then my English teacher, my favorite, Miss Riley, she wrote, you're a toughie, hang tough, stay strong, we love you, Miss Riley. And then inside is just a ton of stuff for my friends. They just wrote all over it. I used your favorite color to make you feel better. I miss you so much, and I really want you to come back, so much. I love you, Will, with all my heart. She wrote, Will, get well. Will always curse her. BFFL, best friend for life. It feels so great just to see her back to almost where she was four weeks ago and have our family all under on on one roof. That's the most important part right now, get everyone back to where we need to be as a family.